The most important aspect from my standpoint with CBD is that while it holds great promise, it's not without risk. A common misconception about CBD is that it's the same as THC, which simply is not the case. The cannabis plant either makes predominantly THC or it makes CBD. If it makes THC, we call it marijuana. If it makes CBD, we call it hemp. They're identical plants, but they have been bred to make differing amounts of these two cannabinoids. Think of it as the petunia plant. It's one plant, but it can make red flowers or white flowers. In this case, cannabis sativa, one plant, has been bred so that there are strains that make the euphorogenic THC and then strains that make the non-euphoric CBD. The advantage is that CBD, while it doesn't cause the high, does have biological activities that may help us as a potential medication. This conflation of THC and CBD is historical. When cannabis sativa was made illegal back in the 70s, CBD became unavailable. The thought was it's the same as THC, but it's not. The reason it's controversial now is twofold. One, it's unregulated. So you can go to the local gas station or supermarket and purchase CBD oil, and it's not been vetted by anybody. Because of that, you don't know what's in it because no one's keeping track, no one's spot checking the product, if you will. There currently is no FDA regulation that says that what is on the packaging has to be in the product. That's a big concern. And it's a big concern because not only do you not know that you're getting what you think you're getting, but you may be getting other things like pesticides or heavy metals or organic solvents. All of these things are unregulated right now. The FDA recognizes that this is a potential problem. And just weeks ago, they decided that they need to work with Congress to develop some regulatory mechanisms to make sure that the products that people are using are safe. Like all drugs, CBD can interact with your body in many different ways. And the thing that has us most concerned right now is that it can interfere with prescription drugs. When you take CBD, let's say orally, it is absorbed from the intestines, goes through the liver, and is detoxified there by the liver. That liver is also busy taking care of your prescription drugs. And so the problem is that if you start adding CBD to your medication list without talking to your doctor, it's entirely possible that it will interfere with the drugs that you're taking that your doctor has prescribed. Now, I wanna be careful here. I'm not suggesting that CBD is a poison. In fact, the clinical studies in children show that it's safe and can be taken at high concentrations without harm to those children. However, that's not somebody who's competently taking perhaps 10 drugs. Our elderly population may be on a dozen different drugs and this can interfere with that. So the bottom line is you need to tell your doctor when you're adding CBD. And most people don't think about that because it's marketed, hyped, if you will, as a natural product. And so it's safe, it comes from plants. Well, strychnine comes from plants and it's a poison. So you have to be careful with CBD because of this thing we call drug-drug interactions. The second problem with CBD is that uh, it is marketed as being a cure-all for many different things for which there's very little experimental evidence. We have reasons to believe it will have some activities that are beneficial, but they haven't been tested yet uh, rigorously to prove the benefits. CBD has tremendous promise. First, we know that it is safe and effective in children for treating seizure disorders. CBD has an activity in our bodies, a natural activity that's anti-inflammatory and tends to be calming, if you will. So as a result, the FDA approved pure CBD for the treatment of two very rare seizure disorders in young children, Lennox-Gastaut syndrome 
and Dravet's syndrome. They're very rare, but these are situations in which the youngsters were having perhaps 100 seizures a day. And then high doses of CBD reduce that to just a handful. And in a very small number of patients, it, it eliminated the seizures altogether. In addition, we know that CBD binds to receptors and reduces inflammation. So there are reasons to believe it will be effective for managing pain, especially inflammatory pain. And that same calming activity that we see in, in seizure disorders in children also may contribute to the belief that CBD helps with insomnia, that it helps people calm them in order to go to sleep. Now, those latter two issues, inflammatory pain and uh, insomnia, have not been tested in people rigorously yet. But there are many people who claim benefits from using these over-the-counter CBD products that are unregulated. So those are the three primary areas where I think CBD will have activity. In our own work, we've shown that in the laboratory, CBD can stop the growth of cancer cells. We haven't yet tested it in animals, and it certainly isn't ready to be tested in humans yet, but it does have anti-cancer activity under the right conditions. We've also been testing it in, in its ability to, to treat pain in animals, and it is effective there. So again, it comes back to the point that this anti-inflammatory activity may help with treatment of chronic pain. Most of the other claims that are made uh, are largely unsupported. And so we, what I would caution people to do is to be careful about just the willy-nilly use of this over-the-counter product because it clearly is being hyped as a cure-all when in fact it undoubtedly is not. So the most important thing, in my opinion, is that people let their doctors know that they have tried this. It may be working for you to help you sleep or to help you with your anxiety, this calming nature, the potential calming nature of CBD, but it can interact with other drugs. It can potentiate them. It can actually eliminate their activity in some cases. And so it's important that you have a frank conversation with your doctor, that you've tried this, it's working for you. What do they think? You may not get the answer you want, but the fact of the matter is just adding it without checking can have bad outcomes.